Hey guys, it's Emma. Okay, so today I'm going to be making something. Everybody's made. I'm so late to the trend. Today I'm going to be making whipped coffee. I'm not a huge coffee person. I don't like need coffee to survive every day, but when coffee is given to me, I enjoy it. I enjoy coffee. Enjoy it? I don't have a caffeine addiction is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, today I'm going to be making whipped coffee. Seems generally easy. Uh, it actually might not be that easy for me because I don't have a hand mixer, but that's what a whisk is for. There's only three ingredients to make the actual coffee part, but then you have to like add in your milk or your cream or whatever you want. All you need is water, instant coffee, and sugar. I have sugar in this cute little sugar container. Instant coffee, Folgers Classic Roast. Oh, that smells awesome. That smells so awesome. What are you making? Trying to keep things clean, but no. Say hello, Dad. To who? <laughs> I'm making whipped coffee. No, no, we're not making whipped coffee. Yes, we are. Well, you need coffee to do that. You're not taking my coffee. You don't have to. I bought this. <laughs> okay, so I feel like this is so easy to remember and just make in general because you only need two tablespoons of everything. So two tablespoons of sugar. Now it's time to get funky. To the Cut. left. Take, Take it back, back now, now y'all. One, One hop this time. time. What? Now it's time for two tablespoons of the instant coffee. Why don't they make all coffee instant? That's what I wanna know. Okay, don't mind my Hannah Montana blanket, but I'm literally on to something. Like, honestly, this is the best idea I've had ever. So if in the future they make all coffee instant, you know who came up with it. Okay, we've got sugar and coffee in here. And now we need two tablespoons of that warm water. So I added the two tablespoons of water. Kind of looks and smells nasty. Now that we have everything in here, and take our whisk and just Start whisking. This is the part where if you had a hand mixer, that would be very helpful for you, but I don't. So I'm just gonna whisk away. Cue the whisking time lapse. Cha cha now y'all. Now it's time to get funky. I've been whisking for so long. Still super liquidy. I'm gonna whisk some more. Get back to you guys when I give up or it's done tired of whipping the coffee. I'm not gonna whip it anymore. I'm gonna get the rest of it ready. I have this cute little jar. I'm gonna get some milk. 2% milk is absolutely the best milk. It's not even a competition. And for those of you who don't enjoy drinking milk, how? I absolutely love 2% milk. I'm going to be putting it in my whipped coffee. Like there, maybe? We'll say that's enough milk. This is what we're going to do. I found a Starbucks straw. This is what it looks like. Kind of a fun sound. I think I'm, I'm gonna try it now. I then spent some more time sipping the drink, mixing it around, as you could see, to truly try to gauge how I felt about this beverage, and then I was hit with a stroke of pure genius. Now we're talking. So this is obviously delicious. 
So my first impressions on the whipped coffee itself. It's me again. It looks like there's a booger in my nose. But I can promise you it's just dry skin. My allergies have been pretty bad recently, so it's a lot of blow in the nose. Everybody knows the feeling of having dry skin after rubbing your nose with a Kleenex too much. You don't have to believe me. Even if it was a booger, oh well, people have boogers. Did you not know that? Oh my gosh, surprise. I didn't have a bat in the cave. And even if I did, oh well. Anyways, continue with the video. I'm relocating. The first whipped coffee, it was definitely fine. And then as I was drinking it, I was like, this could literally be a Starbucks Frappuccino. So what did I do? Added chocolate sauce and whipped cream. Obviously it's delicious now. It tastes just like a java chip frappuccino. I feel like you can do this in a blender if you put like ice cream or ice cubes in it. But I decided to hand whip it with a whisk. So the whipped coffee on its own, probably give it like 4 out of 10. I don't know why people find it so good, it wasn't that good. But this on the other hand, mm, probably like an 8 out of 10. Is it bad that I finished it? Thank you guys so much for watching this video, putting up with me, trying to make whipped coffee, kind of failing, but in the end, succeeding tremendously. The beverage I ended up making was awesome. If you want me to try making more coffee drinks with instant coffee, because I have that whole bottle of it now, let me know what you want to see in the comments below if my comments aren't disabled because of YouTube's weird kids laws. And subscribe to me. We're one person away from 450 subscribers at the time I'm filming this. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.